So my name's Katrina Fox and my company's Vegan Business Media. One of the key uh, issues around climate change and environment, one of the key contributors is animal agriculture. Um, it's a key contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, species extinction and air and water pollution. To my knowledge, unlike in other countries, no Australian politician is actually acknowledging and addressing this. We have an opportunity, as Jenny mentioned, we need economic transformation, new jobs that Maureen mentioned. Australia is so well placed to be part of the booming plant-based economy. Um, we can export, manufacture and export to Asian um, countries who are looking to also reduce their environmental footprint. So my question to the panel is, which of you is going to take, as Merrin said, bold action and start to phase out <coughs> subsidies to, from animal agriculture, from meat, dairy and, and egg industries, which are bad for people from a health perspective, bad for animals and bad for the planet, and instead help transition those um, animal-based farmers out and also to provide sp support for ethical plant-based businesses? I can start if yes. you want. Yeah, because, so thank you, Katrina. Very good question. And you know, an interesting thing is that part of my master's and PhD at UNSW was actually looking at greenhouse gas emissions from intensive agriculture. Um, and yes, they are a big contributor. So you know, I've been I used to talk about that a lot in state parliament because I they have the environment portfolio, and obviously there is a clear link between intensive animal agriculture. We know we eat too much meat. Uh, we know how animals are treated in intensive agriculture. So those, sort of, those things we've been very vocal on. And of course, we need to end um, you know, factory farming. That's clear. We need to eat, start eating less meat. That's Karen will tell you. You know, that's better for us health-wise as well. And it's better course, to ditch it all together, but yeah, carry on. Yeah, but we need to start, actually start debating it, start talking about it, and we haven't actually done that in Australia Absolutely. Yet. Like we haven't started looking at how automation, for instance, is going to affect us. So we need to start having those conversations and start having them now. There is no point in avoiding a conversation because it gets difficult for some people. So are you willing to commit to that, Maureen, to, to phase out the sub, to move, or at least move some of those subsidies to support plant-based businesses and to position, help position Australia as a leader in this market? So I'm very happy to start having that conversation, absolutely. Great, thank you. Anyone else willing to do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got one. Thank you, Merrin. Merrin. Uh, I'm happy to answer your question. Uh, I, I don't commit to anything without evidence, and I would need to see the evidence for any kind of proposal. I'd be delighted to, to give that to you. There's a new report out by the Think Tank, Australian you, Think Tank. Question. I'll get you a copy. Uh, the second thing I would say is that, with my doctor's hat on, is that people need choice in their food, and if people want to have uh, animal-based proteins in their food, then I believe that they should have that choice, but that the animals should be treated in a humane way. And uh, the intensive uh, factory type uh, agriculture that Maureen is talking about is something that uh, we need to be much more active about eliminating. Uh, I believe we should eliminate, for example, live sheep exports going to the Middle East. And, uh, and that should be phased out over the next uh, few years and as soon as possible. Uh, the other thing I will say is that we would all be healthier if we ate more plant-based foods, uh, but that's not to say eliminating other forms of protein because there are some people who simply for health reasons cannot get all the nutrients they need from a plant-based plant diet. And, uh, and so uh, I, I think if we maintain choice, but make sure that we have a humane and ethical way of producing all of our foods, then that's what I would support. There is no humane and ethical way to slaughter an animal. Okay, we might move on now.